I'll turn my light on and touch the sky. Step right up, let go, let go, let go, let go. What? Just step right up, let go, let go, let go. Keep looking up, let go, let go, let go. What would love do? Keep stepping up, turn your light on, turn your light on, turn your light on. Maybe the ride of your life is about to begin. How will you choose? Think about a time in your life when you've been faced with a decision. Maybe an easy one. Maybe an excruciatingly difficult one. Maybe it turned out great. Maybe it blew up in your face because, look, we're all friends here. Let's be real. That can happen. Can it not? If you're living in trust, if you're living in trust all the time, all will always be well. But we have all, at one time or another, been faced with a choice. And very often that choice is a choice between moving forward in faith and falling back in fear. Moving forward in faith or falling back in fear. Maybe you have an opportunity at a new job. You might take it. You might decide to let it go. And maybe that's the right thing to do, but maybe you let it go just because you were afraid. You might have a choice to uh, start a new business or not, or to move, to have children. That was not necessarily always a conscious choice, but... Here's an acronym. This, I'm going to declare this acronym day, okay? I've got a couple more for you, so we'll go ahead. ATG, always trusting God. And Anne basically said it. We're always living in trust. We're making room for the now. When you're living in a place of always trusting God, you have the power to let go. And again, I'm going to echo you because we we're saying some of the same things. No second guessing. No getting hung up in hung up. I won't second guess that. I'll just forgive myself and go on. No second guessing, no getting hung up in the whys and wherefores, in the shouldas and the couldas and the whys and whens. Just go ahead and celebrate yourself and celebrate God for making the best choice that you could make in the you that you were at that time, in the now that you had at that time. And my friends, if you are always trusting God, you will always be choosing wisely. So let's say together, I have chosen wisely. I have chosen wisely. Let's share that. Turn to somebody and say, you have chosen wisely. You, you have chosen wisely. Okay. <laughs> and once again, for the whole world, because we're all about sharing the love and sharing the light, we have chosen wisely. Let's do it again. We have chosen wisely. ATG, always trusting God. Does anyone here know anything about mountain climbing? No? Because I'm going to jump off here with a completely unsupported guess about something I know nothing about. So I, I may get away with it. Mountain climbers. I'm just, I'm just guessing, but tell me if this, if this makes sense to you. The best mountain climbers are not necessarily the strongest or the most agile or the bravest. Those things help. But I'm going to guess that the best mountain climbers are the ones who are able to resist the temptation to look down. <laughs> They're able to resist the temptation to fall back in fear. They're moving forward in faith. Now, they've made a conscious decision. They've trained, they've practiced, they've equipped themselves. But it still is coming down to a choice between climbing up in faith or falling back in fear. Race car driving is another subject that I know nothing about, although I-95? <laughs> Can I get an amen on that one? Amen. Okay. As I understand it, race car drivers also have incredible discipline and tenacity because the wall is right beside them, right? The other cars are right beside them, and they are booking along, and uh, there's no falling back in fear. 
There's no falling back in fear at that point. There is only going forward. Turning left and going forward. Well, race car drivers and mountain climbers and Indiana Jones are all heroes. Yeah, they're on the hero's journey. You know what? Say it for me. Okay, we are all on the hero's journey. You and you and you and you and you. So here's a great quote about decisions and commitment. And actually, for years, I had misattributed this quote. I thought it was, it came from a German philosopher named Goethe. And in reality, it didn't. Do you guys know the story about Marianne Williamson and Nelson Mandela and the quote that was misattributed? There was a kerfuffle about that. It's completely irrelevant to my talk, but I just like to say the word kerfuffle. Here's a quote that is relevant. And I thought it came from Goethe, but when I started exploring, uh, Googling mountain climbing, it turns out that it's from a great mountain climber named William Hutchison Murray. And he said this, until one is committed, there is hesitancy, the chance to draw back, always ineffectiveness. Concerning all acts of initiative and creation, there is one elementary truth. In the moment one definitely commits one, oneself, then providence moves too. All sorts of things occur to help one that would never otherwise have occurred. A whole stream of events issues from the decision, raising in one's favor all manner of unforeseen incidents and meetings and material assistance. That's wordy, but it's, it's pretty powerful. But he caps it off. This is incredible. Whatever you can do or dream you can do, begin it. Boldness has genius, power, and magic in it. Begin it now. Altogether, I have chosen wisely. I have chosen wisely. Now, all that being said, you've, you've made a wise choice. You know what to do. You're thinking clearly. You're ready to move ahead. Will it be a straight line from there? Straight on till morning to happiness, to success, to the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, to the other side of the chasm? Will it be easy? Well, sure. Why wouldn't it be? What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> What could possibly go? Yeah, everybody's going, well, you know. Here's one possible thing, and it's another acronym. I believe that we all carry around our own little mental weapons of self-destruction, weapons of mass destruction. You might call them RTGs, random thought generators. You like that? The random thought generators. They're, they're that committee in your head. They're the woulda, shoulda, coulda folks. Back to that again. The yada yada people. They're just like those cartoons where you got the angel on one shoulder and the devil's on the other shoulder and he's saying, yo, manifest this. Well, there's the challenge. There's the challenge. Now the RTG is not that random. It's really coming out of a place of another acronym that I'll call BS. <laughs> Belief system. <laughs> We're, we're all programmed. We, we may not want to think of it that way, but those random thoughts are coming from many, many, many sources, okay? I mean, forget about you. You have your early programming as a child. You have the, you'll never amount to much. You have the, you know, interactions with other people that may have been innocent but felt hurtful to you at the time. Has anybody experienced that at all when you were seven years old? You felt left out, and reality it was just a mistake, but, but it stayed with you forever. All right. Think about the media environment that we live in today. Now that is a random thought generator, if ever there was one. So here I come to the point of my talk. Our challenge and our work as humans having this human life, as spiritual beings having this human life, is to be clear to be totally clear and to understand what we're seeing, what we're experiencing, what we're feeling, and to be able to separate the random thought generators and the yada yada stuff from the truth. And the truth is that God is always good. The truth is that God is always good. Let's do that together. The truth is that God is always good. You gotta hack through that jungly thicket, just like Indiana Jones. It was another scene, but uh, 
How do you do that? Easy to say. Two words. Spiritual practice. Spiritual practice. One practice that I love, uh, and my wife, Paula, who cannot be with us today, but she sends her love and greetings, is to be still, as still as I can possibly be. And here's a song that she wrote about. thing you know that old Jed's a millionaire well well that's one thing <laughs> thank you thank you somebody give her twenty dollars before that though all the way back to your beginning you know when it's time to be born 
and then born again. And throughout our lives, we experience it over and over and over. A tiny egg becomes a caterpillar. It shelters for a time in a chrysalis until it's ready to open to its new life as a butterfly. Now, I don't know if the butterfly chooses. Maybe it does it at some level. I know that you can choose. I know that I can choose. I know that we can choose to always trust God. I know that we can trust, trust, and trust some more. I know that we can choose to be grateful and mindful. Say with me one more time, I have chosen wisely. I have chosen wisely. And then you just put your foot out there and make the first step. Are you ready? Hey. Can I get away with this? Let's try it. I'll stand up. I'm improvising because usually... Good. What if the hokey pokey really is what it's all about? <laughs> Take a step. You put your big foot in, you take your right foot out, you put your right foot in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around, and that's what it's all about. You put your left foot in, you put your left foot out, you put your left foot in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around, that's what it's all about. You put, put your, your whole self in, you put your whole self out. Whole self in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey, and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. One more time. You put your whole self, self in, you put your whole self out. Put your whole self in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey, and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. We are awakening here to our spiritual magnificence, and so it is. All right. Share the love, share the light. Have a seat. We'll do one more song. You didn't see that coming, did you? That's right. We're making room for the now. We are floating, we are flying In the sky so mystifying Planet spinning, supernova shining bright Turn your face in the direction Of a cosmic love connection Celebrate the love in the light Celebrate the love in the light Share the to be a friend and watch the universe expand into love once again when you light a candle from a kid what happens suddenly you see a stunning sight the world sees its reflection in the eyes of love's perfection So come on and celebrate the love in the light Celebrate the love in the light Yeah, yeah, share the love in the light Share the light in the light Just be a friend who reaches out to be a friend
once again and watch the universe God bless you, my friends. Thank you.